Welcome to Evolve, Mastery for Leading a New World, with CEO and award-winning author, Yvette Bethel. This podcast is dedicated to supporting leaders with a variety of solutions to build trust, inspire authentic change, and improve morale within your organization. Learn how to grow your people, build your culture, and transform your results. Welcome to Evolve. Mastery for Leading a New World. I am your host, Yvette Bethel, and this episode will provide you with tips you can use to create safe space at work. So what is safe space? It describes the quality of communication and the ability of all parties to be open and respectful of others so that trust can exist. The safer the space, the more likely it is that persons will share their views. When there is no safe space, there are a number of ways this can manifest. For example, your coworker asks you for th- your thoughts during a meeting. You were lulled into thinking the question was authentic, so you stated your true position, but your ideas were not what your coworker wanted to hear. So not only were you attacked with ferocity during the meeting, you were consistently attacked by that same coworker every time you stated your ideas in his presence. Now this can happen when your coworker feels threatened by your honesty so that the attacks are designed to ensure you will agree to everything in future or say nothing at all. Another example of unsafe space occurs when a leader refrains from speaking up on behalf of support staff. When this happens, members of the team view their leader as ineffective. When relationships are strong and the leader is weak, support staff sympathize with their supervisor, but they do not respect her because she's not an effective conduit for their concerns and ideas. Creating safe space is not the sole responsibility of formal leaders. Respectful communication is necessary among all co-workers for the space to be viewed as safe. Cutting remarks made by peers can be just as demoralizing as a negative reaction from a supervisor. There are leaders who always refer to themselves as having an open door policy. They even make the effort to leave their doors open. However, because team trust levels are low, Employees rarely enter this type of leader's office because they want to avoid encountering rejection. Rejection can be perceived when the leader is busy typing while the employee is speaking, or the leader constantly takes calls during the conversation, or the leader is abrupt or short with employees. Speaking up and allowing others to express themselves is centered on trust. Trust facilitates. There are some leaders who are very disciplined about inviting employees to contribute. In fact, they encourage this because they value creativity and team building. This type of management team consistently invites dialogue. They take corrective action when appropriate. They reward great ideas and they support staff with ongoing developmental opportunities. Allowing managers and employees the latitude to express themselves and teaching them how to express themselves constructively helps everyone to feel valued by the organization and ultimately safe. Here are three tips for leaders who who are ready to create an environment that's safe for employees to contribute their ideas and thoughts. Tip number one, some employers recognize that not listening to employees will not only lead to low morale, it can cause the management team to make the wrong decisions or miss opportunities for innovation. With this in mind, some companies schedule meetings so groups of employees can dialogue with the president or another executive who will listen to their suggestions and challenges. Tip number two, Some companies encourage employees to make suggestions or share their views using a variety of communication tools. They use company blogs, 
employee hotlines, employee surveys, or the intranet to accept and respond to feedback. These tools are usually backed up with a process for reviewing suggestions and comments, planning and taking action, and communicating the results of those actions or decisions to employees. Taking action and communicating the results is critical to the process because it is counterproductive to ask an employee for feedback if you do not intend to do anything with that information. Tip number three, some employers develop leaders who use emotional intelligence when communicating so they can navigate their emotions and biases. They want to be sure managers are responding to ideas and not reacting to personalities and emotions. Creating safe space is really about opening top-down, bottom-up, and lateral communication channels sharing important information, listening to employees and implementing their ideas helps them to feel valued and connected to the organization. This is an important part of the formula for attracting and retaining top talent. You have been listening to Evolve, Mastery for Leading a New World. I invite you to tune in this and every Monday for a new podcast. In the meantime, remember, always continue to evolve. Thanks for listening to Evolve, Mastery for Leading a New World. Visit YvetteBethel.com to learn more about Yvette's leadership programs and to download her free gift, Success Tips for Igniting Your Career.